Hi parents, welcome to virtual back to school night. My name is Mrs. Militia. I teach the orchestras at Edison High School as well as the Music Theory 1 course. Um, I'll start with orchestra since that's the majority of my students. Um, I have three classes that I teach throughout the day for orchestra. I have the freshman in the morning, I have the um, chamber orchestra, and then the concert orchestra for my upperclassmen in the afternoon. Um, the level of music that I pick for each class is a little different, but my goal overall is the same. So my main my main focus is to try to make my students as well-rounded as possible. Um, and I just want to feel that when they leave me, hopefully after four years of orchestra, that they know enough that they can continue to play their instruments, if it, even if it's just as a hobby or for enjoyment. Um, I want them to feel like they can still play and that they can know enough to teach themselves and to keep learning. Um, to do that, I not only focus on the playing aspect and trying to improve how they sound, but also the, I want them to know the mechanics of their instrument. Can they tune it themselves? If a string were to break and I'm not there, can they replace it on their own? Um, another thing that I, I like to focus on it from time to time is music theory. I'll sprinkle some music theory in my lessons throughout the year. And really all that is, um, is kind of like the science behind the music. Um, how do they know how to read their notes? Um, do they know how far the notes are on the page and how that translates to how far they have to move up and down their instruments? Do they know the terms? Because most of our terms are in Italian. Um, do they know what they mean and how that physically translates to their instruments? So although um, it may be a little boring to them at first, I think it's really important. And I think once they realize the connection and how it can be helpful, they secretly start to like it. So um, that's really uh, my main my main areas of focus for orchestra. Um, and check out the description below. I have the syllabus as well as the schedule for our rehearsals and our um, performances that we have booked so far. Um, I look forward to hopefully meeting you in person in the near future um, and I hope you have a good night. I'm going to move on to my Music Theory 1 course. So my Music Theory 1 class is geared towards students who are maybe thinking of majoring or minoring in music after they graduate or um, and or students who are thinking about taking the AP um, theory exam. So as I said earlier, music theory can be a little bit of a dry subject, I think, for a lot of people. I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. But I guess the bottom line is music theory can be challenging, uh, especially for those who maybe don't already have some music experience, either play an instrument or sing. So if you have no music experience and you're coming into this class, um, there's plenty that we're going to learn and hopefully they'll enjoy it. But it can be a little challenging. So I encourage anybody who might feel confused or feel like they need extra help, please don't hesitate to reach out. I love giving extra help. I will re-explain things 500 different ways until they get it. Um, so I just can't stress that enough. Um, don't be afraid to reach out for extra help. Um, so music theory, really what we're gonna cover is a lot of the content on the theory exam, which would be sight singing, um, ear training, which is like, can you write a melody just from hearing it a couple times? Can you write a mel uh, rhythm out just from hearing it a couple times? Um, we're gonna learn how to build chords, how to build musical phrases, which turn into hopefully by the end of the year, a, comp a composition that they can create of their own. Um, so that pretty much, that pretty much covers it, I think. So again, check out the description for the syllabus for details with, um, for grading and rules and expectations. All right. Thank you for listening and have a good night.